Hey guys, CB Super. Um, got a comment uh, asking about if there was any kind of onion skin option where you can see a lightly transparent stroke from the previous frame to help you draw in your next stroke while using the, uh, the paint node. So, very good question. So let's go ahead and jump right into DaVinci. And let's see if we can kind of uh, come up with something that will help when painting with nodes. So I'm assuming you're gonna be using a multi-stroke paint node. So let's just go ahead and do a background and a paint node. And let's bring these in. And I'm just gonna use this media and I'm just gonna kinda of like make a little outline of him that's gonna expand outward over each frame. So inside of this background, uh, let's go ahead and just drop the alpha all the way down. Now you'll see when I paint something, uh, you won't actually see anything because I, I don't have it loaded up in here, but um, if I load it up in here, so you can kind of see that um, the paint node now works. Uh, we have transparency behind it. Let's go ahead and uh, Command Z those. Um, and now if we just want to bring out a merge node, we can, this is, paint is almost always going to be, you're going to want that almost always in the foreground. So let's go ahead and plug this in into the background here. All right, and we're going to bring this merge node all the way over here because we're actually going to be doing a bunch of different things. But you'll see that now, as long as you're clicked on this paint button, and if you come down to brush controls, um, just kind of make sure that your stroke duration is on one. Now, obviously, if you put your stroke duration, say, on two, this would uh, hold the stroke for two frames. So I'm going to use my right mouse button. I'm going to go ahead forward one. Well, now I can, let me give myself just a little bit of room here and bring this down just a hair. Well, now I could do this, but the problem with that is that each one of those strokes is going to last two frames, so that might not be what you're looking for. Um, but you can change the duration of strokes, but the problem is, is that even if you bring this back to, say, one, the frames that you created when it was in two is still going to stay for two frames. So it's not like if you change it later, it'll go back and change the ones that you've already done. Because that would definitely be a pretty cool feature if, if DaVinci had that. Um, I don't believe that it does though. So let's just go ahead and Command Z all those. So we're gonna have to kind of, I don't know, come up with our own way of making it so that we can actually see a frame later and it'll bring it back up into, um, up into the frame here so that we can use it so the first thing that came to mind, and I don't actually do it this way, I usually just flip back and forth um, frames, but you could possibly use a time speed node. So if we bring out, we shift space and we type in time, time speed, and then we plug this paint node into the time speed. And then in time speed, we're gonna go ahead and give it a one frame delay. Then bring in another merge node. Take the output from the this merge over here Drive it in so it'll be the background first, and then the time speed can be the foreground. On this merge node, since you wanted it slightly transparent, you can actually come in now and we can control the blend. Say I leave this on just a halfway blend, so anywhere around 0.5 or so. Now if I come back to the paint node, I can go ahead and paint an outline here. Now I don't actually see the outline right now, but I know that I'm painting. All right, and then if I come one frame forward, you'll see I now see a nice little outline. So that's kind of halfway there, right? Like that, that kind of meets part of our criteria. We want to be able to see all of this. So we know we have this media out over here. We have the media in and the media out, and they're over here, and we're actually only looking at these merge nodes, so that's not even plugged into this media out yet. So one thing we can actually do is we can actually remove this, and we can create another merge node. And now this media can come up to and be the background, and then this output can actually be the foreground. And then drive it into the media out, and we can even just leave the media out here, and now what we'll see is when we click on paint, say if I come just a little bit farther here, I can now actually paint and still see my onion skin or my paint node helper. And then if I use my right arrow, I can come over one more frame, and you'll notice now it's loaded up the next frame. So I'm seeing the correct, this is this is the correct uh, frame because all I'm using over here on this side is the paint node is being time sped one frame delay. 
and then it's merging it back in so that I can see it over here. So, I mean, we can kind of tidy this up so it looks cool. I mean, that's what it's all about, right? Looks all professional. Probably just um, grab all these merge nodes right here and the time speed, and you can uh, create a macro out of this if you wanted to. Or you could even use the paint node as well. And uh, if, you, if you're curious how to make a macro, I'll have a little link up in the description from my macro video. But I mean, that's pretty much it now. We can just come in here and we can keep painting new frames. Maybe size this down just a little bit. And then go one more frame. All right, um, and so once that's complete, uh, we will have to actually do something in order to change the way that these are connected uh, Because we're not going to want this time speed in the final uh, But we do want this paint so we want the paint to still be connected remove this merge node um, You can just remove it and and then just connect it over here Now you'll see all we have to do is we can play back our animation and, and now we have our perfect animation So so that's pretty much it uh, Pretty easy just using the time speed node. Um, I hope that helps. I hope that's kind of what you were looking for. I know it's not a perfect answer, but um, at least it's something. Uh, so if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Hit that bell notification, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.